Well, here we are now in this fifth week of Easter, and I want to continue to ponder the resurrection and the dynamic of renewal that it brought once and for all, then, and by the Holy Spirit continues to bring today and right now. Again, Union Church of Manila is now preaching and learning through the church's value of being called to renewal. That value, once again, is this. We are called to renewal. We seek to cultivate spirit-empowered restoration and transformation in our communities. Now we'll look at the next two of Paul's six resurrection texts, keeping in mind what it would look like or what might happen if in our life together in the church and in our individual lives, we went through each day with a heightened sense of readiness and awareness of the resurrection and its implication in our lives. Here now looking at Ephesians 2, 5 to 6, and then looking at Philippians 3, 10. Here's Ephesians 2, 5 to 6, where it reads, God made us alive together with Christ and raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So there's an there's indication in these verbs raised and made that these direct these are direct and immediate results of salvation. Not only is the believer freed from spiritual death and sin and thus fashioned to true life through the resurrection, but he or she can now realize and participate in that same joy and glory that is God's exaltation in having Christ raised from the dead. It's not just a nice thought. For the believer in Christ, we may realize this joy, this newness of life made possible in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you place your faith and trust in Christ, let this lofty sort of truth come, come into your mind a bit further or anew. Let this truth sink in anew. That is one of the implications of the resurrection for the life of the church in your life. We are raised to new life in Christ. We are made new in this new life in Christ. Praise God. Now to Philippians 3.10. That I may know him in the power of his resurrection and may share in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. That I may know the power of his resurrection, the text says. For the believer in Christ Jesus, we need not attempt to have any ultimate confidence in our own flesh, in our own power, if you will. In this Easter season, as we meditate on these verses, may we indeed realize and participate in that same renewal that same power of his resurrection in whatever God might be inviting or calling us, you, into in this new season. It is a new season and we are ever being called by God forth. Indeed, so that you may continue to know him better in this season of renewal. May he give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation. May it be so.